All right, guys, it's Evan Chino. It's, uh, it's a Tuesday at 2.20 in the morning, so I figured what a perfect time to talk about Michigan Rutgers. I made a couple videos of the game back on Saturday, but they were just, like, little short little videos I made just with my friends. But now here's my actual thoughts and feelings of the game. Um, so, Michigan beat Rutgers 52-17 to back on Saturday after being, after losing at halftime. Somehow, they were, they, Michigan had a terrible first half. They, the defense, the cornerbacks played pretty bad that game. Uh, the Michigan had a punt blocked that Rutgers returned for a touchdown. With DJ Turner got burned on a play, the Rutgers had a touchdown. And Turner even got called for DPI on it, which got overturned obviously because of a touchdown. But but Michigan, Michigan, they they played pretty good. Rutgers absolutely fell apart in the second half. They their quarterback Gavin Wimsett threw three interceptions. Two of them were by Mike Warren. One of them was a pick six. The third one was by Will Johnson. But uh, J.J. McCarthy, uh, this probably was his worst game of the season completion-wise. He threw a lot of incompletions. I think he went like 13 for 27 or something. Not as bad as C.J. Stroud. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, um, so my... Issue is that and Michigan continues to do this week after week. They always wait until the second half to get things going. They really, they really need to work on getting things going right at the beginning of the game. Instead of they just have piss poor performances in the first half, and then in the second half they just play like the best team in college football. Uh, Blake Corum still really good. One of the Best running backs in college football right now. Um, receivers today, or what am I saying today? The receivers played pretty good, which because McCarthy was finally th deciding to throw it to some of our other receivers instead of just our running backs and Schoonmaker. Because if Donovan Edwards did have a receiving touchdown in the game and Cornelius Johnson had another receiving touchdown uh, Roman Wilson didn't play in the game so that was one of our main receivers were out but ended up not mattering Rutgers uh, Rutgers had a pretty good first half they had a touchdown pass a blocked punt for a touchdown but in the second half they did absolutely nothing they couldn't get anything going. The Gavin whims it through three interceptions, and they just they Rutgers was just terrible in the second half. They couldn't do anything. I think uh, this was the most points that Rutgers has allowed in a game all season. Uh, it's the first time we've scored fifty points in a game since Connecticut, and. Now it's on in Nebraska on Saturday, a three thirty kickoff on ABC. Um, Michigan's Michigan's playing pretty good. There's only four undefeated teams left in college football. It's Georgia, Ohio State, Michigan, and TCU. Those are the only undefeated teams. They the, all four of those teams should be the top four because they're all the only undefeated teams left. The rankings come out. It's Tuesday, but it's like it's only been Tuesday for two and a half hours, so it's gonna be till seven, so it's gonna be a while till the till the rankings come out, but should be interesting. Um a big mix up. I'll make a video on the college football playoff ranking. I was gonna do it last week, but I, I completely forgot about it. But I don't really have much to say about the Michigan game really. I mean they just did what you expected them to do. They just Played pretty good, you know. Rutgers didn't have a chance. I mean, it looked like Rutgers was going to do something. It looked like Michigan was on upset alert. And they just completely, just they scored 38 unanswered in the second half. 
and Rutgers did absolutely nothing. So now it's on Nebraska at home. Uh, it should be a win. Michigan should beat them. They should beat Illinois. Illinois is going to be a tough game. But I don't know. I mean, Illinois lost to Michigan State, and we beat Michigan State. But record, Illinois is still going to be a tough game. And then, of course, the final game. <sighs> Final game at Ohio State will definitely be a challenge, but um, I'm still very happy with how Michigan has done this season. Um, they're nine and zero for the first time since 2016, and if they win, to um, if they win on Saturday, they'll be ten and zero for the first time since 2006. But then again, the last time Michigan was nine and zero. They they lost to Iowa, but the difference is that we played a decent Iowa team on the road in 2016. This year, it's against a terrible Nebraska team at home. But who knows? Just treat every treat every game like it's Ohio State. Treat every game because Michigan has the well, Michigan has the potential to finish 12 and 0 this year. It's just all down to that Ohio State game. But don't sleep on Nebraska and Illinois. You don't want to be an upset alert for any of those games. Don't want to ruin the season. Because if we lose any of those games, it won't even matter if we beat... Well, not really. If we lose one of those games and if we beat Ohio State, then we'll still go on. Unless if we lose... Well, we uh, we have to lose two games. The only way we can make the Big Ten championship, if, even if we do lose to Ohio State, is if Ohio State loses their next two games. That's the only way. Which, of course, it's Indiana and then Maryland. So uh, they're gonna. It's it's most likely that both Michigan and Ohio State will be eleven and zero going into the game. Uh, but who knows. Hey. Sorry I'm yawning. It's two like two thirty in the morning. <laughs> but I wanted to get Michigan we'll more make a video about Rutgers game, but not much to say. I mean Michigan just destroyed them in the second half, but my main concern is our cornerback situation. It's cornerbacks aren't have just keep getting burnt week after week. McCarthy's starting to McCarthy's starting to like just do a little worse and worse every week. He had a he didn't have that good of a game, even though he threw two touchdowns and no picks. So most of the completions he's thrown in a, in a game, but hopefully he can turn it around because I know McCarthy has the potential to be a great quarterback. I just haven't seen it yet. Um, I I honestly I I honestly think he's been a better quarterback than how Cade McNamara did last year, but. We'll see. We'll see how he does in this start against Ohio State. But now it's on in Nebraska. Hopefully we can get that dub, and we'll see ya.